Jose Andres. He is a world famous chef and also the founder of World Central Kitchen. That's a non-profit organization that distributes food uh, to places following different types of disasters. And uh, Chef Jose Andres and his team have been cooking fresh meals for people here in Turkey in earthquake hit areas. He joins us now live from Adana. Welcome to you, Chef Andres. It's fantastic to have you with us. I know you're very busy. I, I understand that you and your team have already cooked today 200,000 fresh meals. Um, how do you and your crew manage to do this in an earthquake hit area that is so vast, so big, and there are still aftershocks? Well, uh, yeah, today is going to be around 2,008,000 uh, meals. Uh, so far, more than 700,000 meals in the entire operation. But still, I feel that this is only putting a finger in one hole of hundreds of holes. But uh, we were able to start very quickly. How? We are an organization that even we come from the outside, we always rely on the locals. Why? because locals know best. We began partnering with restaurants that they were safe, that they, we had clean water, that we had perfect kitchens, and we began making meals and start reaching to the people, sometimes sleeping in the middle of the night in the back of their trucks or on their cars, and in the process of connecting with the local chefs, restaurant communities, start opening some of our own kitchens mm -hmm. in schools, in universities, in catering companies, uh, local Turkish people that give us their places so we can start uh, producing more and more meals. In the process, we began learning what's going on. Mm -hmm. I've been myself all across. I've been in Elbistan. Uh, I've been, I've been uh, yesterday night, I came up 4 a.m. Uh, from Hatay. Uh, I'm on my way to Gaziantep. I'm on, on, my, on my way to, or to many of the uh, or areas that really are mm -hmm. hard hit to keep opening kitchens and to make sure that we cover the needs of the local people, learning from the mayors, learning from the governors, and making sure that nobody, mm -hmm. nobody will go uh, one night without a meal. That's amazing. And of course, you've been in, in, in so many places that have uh, been affected by uh, natural disasters and other type of disasters, even the 2010 uh, Haiti earthquake. Tell us, um, what are you cooking here in uh, Turkey? You, you said you're, you're going all around. Uh, you're in Adana now. You'll be going to Hatay, Gaziantep. What are you cooking? And talk to us also about uh, this uh, wonderful <laughs> concept, chefs for Turkey. I, I love that. Well, uh, uh, listen, it's, it's many amazing chefs in, in um, uh, many uh, amazing chefs that they, in Turkey, that on their own, they've, they've moved from Ankara, they've moved from, from Istanbul. And I want to give a big round of applause because they show up to be next to their people. Uh, mm -hmm. Chef Fatih, one of the most known chefs uh, in Istanbul, he has an amazing kitchen in Iskanderun mm -hmm. with many, many chefs that join him there and we've been supporting him and we are kind of uh, working together. But Chef Fatih has been amazing what he's done. Also in Elbistan was another group of chefs that came from Istanbul and did a kitchen in a, in a, in a, sugar, in a sugar factory. And I, we've been there seeing the amazing work they do. What do we cook? Yeah. Local, Tur local Turkish dishes. Excellent. What? Like it's what? All, type, all, all types of chorba. We've been doing, we've been serving kebabs. Uh, we, we've been serving, uh, my Turkish is not very good. Uh, we've been serving uh, this soup with beans, the fasolus. We've been doing uh, all types of bulgur dishes. Uh -huh. I think that in emergencies, what is always easy to serve is not what the locals like, but it's also what the locals know how to cook. Yes. And it's also the local ingredients you find. Uh -huh. Everybody always say, it's never food in an emergency. It's not true. It's always food in, a, in an emergency. It's always a kitchen and more important, and it's always amazing people that want to help their fellow citizens. Absolutely. And we're seeing um, people really come together, aren't we? Um, and just tell us a bit more about how people have been responding to you and your crew, because I've been following you on social media. The response, um, they're calling you a hero, a saint, uh, uh, just uh, so many positive yeah. uh, words. We, we, we always tell, and the Turkish people that are listening to you right now and to me, that World Central Kitchen is not our organization. World Central Kitchen is the organization of the Turkish people 
for the Turkish people. In this room, I wish you could see it, we have many uh, Turkish people that they are the ones contacting with all the other Turkish people that we have in more than 18 cities all across Turkey right now. You're giving Making them jobs, aren't happen. you, uh, Chef and Jose Andres? Ma You're giving them jobs right now, aren't you? You're giving them life. You're giving them hope. Some of them, some of them are volunteers that they will be even insulted if we offer them, but other, uh, uh, others, yes, we are offering them jobs. Mm. But at this moment, it's not jobs. Mm. Everybody's doing it because they want to serve. But obviously, we are able to do what we do because we are supported by people in America and around the world yeah. that they see what we do and they support us. And the best way to do is in the process, make sure that the local economy yeah. can start moving up, that the people have jobs, that they have yeah. uh, uh, a, good, a good eye into a good future because it's going to be hard the next weeks. But if instead of being down, we are all doing something, all of a sudden, you have this kind of amazing army of Turkish people that they want to rebuild. They want to look at the future with Absolutely. hope. And in a way, that's what we do with food. One plate of food is not only nourishment, but one plate of food is dignity, but also is showing the way to a better tomorrow. I love what the people of Turkey, they've done from day one. Everybody in the back of their cars, wherever they could cook in their home, coming from 100 and 200 and 500 kilometers, arriving to the sites where the SAR teams will be trying to rescue people and feeding them at 4 or 5 or 6 a.m. in the morning. This is the spirit of the Turkish people, and I want the Turkish people to be so proud because I do believe with this spirit is nothing like is going to stop the Thank Turkish people so from rebuilding. Thank you so much and, and thank you for that, that message of hope and the work that you are doing. And with that, we end our broadcast. Good luck to you, Chef Jose Andres and your team. And to our viewers, that's the news for now.